to bed. It is Monday. Little Miss Foxy is gonna go for a hike down the lane. She hasn't had a ride in a few weeks. It's been a bit, been a bit stagnant since the old corona. Foxy's just been chilling out of the paddock with her sis, Pandora. Yeah, I know. Comps are off, but look, little Miss Foxy, she kind of needs to keep working. She needs to build up a top line. The lane is a bit of a hill, and it's actually a really good workout for them, even if they're just walking. It really builds their booty. But how cute is she? And I've realised, so she's been turned out in the grassy paddock. She's got all these little scabby bits up her legs, and I think that must be from the bugs in the grass. And I feel really bad because she hasn't had like a groom for a few weeks and she looked fine. But she's actually gonna need a clip soon. It's April and she is woolly. I don't know how many of you are clipping yet, but holy dooly. But I remember last year, I had to clip her really early so that I didn't have to, cause she was dying underneath her winter rugs. She just, yeah, she's super woolly. And we thought it was cause she came up from New South Wales. I know she's like it this year. She's been here over a year now. She is not enjoying the flies. We're gonna go for a little strolly wally. I need to take Jet for a stroll and he's gotta go in his new saddle again because I'm still trying to get the 10, 12 hour riding time so that Mel can come out and fit him. I was, so normally I lead these two together, but Foxy's really annoying. She walks really slowly if she's being led and she goes up Jet's bum. Okay, there's a chookie making a scared noise. Hang on, I gotta go figure it out. Doesn't make sense. Anyway, because they like, I've been locking them in the hut to try and get some eggs. Because obviously, in these current times where no one's got any money, it'd be really handy to have some eggs to eat. But they don't want to lay them in the hut. I locked them in till about 10 o'clock today. No eggs. So they all come out and they all go under the hedge and lay them somewhere. And I don't know where. And Rue, one of my dogs, he knows where. Okay, look at the mess. Mm, don't look at the mess. Oh, everything's a bit frantic. Anyway, no eggs, chicken not killed by snake, getting on Foxy. Let's go, Foxy. You are not sure, hey, Foxy. What is that? Is that a mini pony? In a very cute little rug. <laughs> that is so cute. Come down. I know you're worried. Foxy is not the cutest pony you've ever seen. Oh! So out on Miss Foxy and the whole point was just to go down the lane for a bit of fitness because Foxy's not done much and I was going to take Jetty out too. Um, <laughs> I did. And then huh, it wasn't going to be very long going up and back and she was not enjoying walking down the lane. She just wanted to finish. So I thought, right, we'll go down the road. And she's spooky at everything like different coloured paint, different coloured road, the drains, the car. No, not the car. She doesn't really care about the cars. There's a car coming. They're going to think I'm weird. Hey. So traffic in Australia does not slow down. I had some lunatic fly past me. They're just idiots. That's why Foxy, even though she's a bit worried, like she's just so cool. You're having a look out in the wilderness. She's just so cute. I love her. Anyway, so we went down the road and it's just nice. Like, I know she's not going to go completely spastic. Her go to is stand still if you're worried, like, not, you know, gallop. While we're not aiming for an event, why not go for a hack? I'm not a hacky. I don't mean showing. Okay, so in England, hacking is trail riding, whatever. I'm not one of these people that likes to go out all the time, but it's actually just taking me back and I'm enjoying riding Foxy because she's so cute and I love her. And it's just funny, like just giving her a little boot because she won't go past the, you know, the drain. And she's so cute. And we just met the cutest pony. And anyway, we're going to head back now because it's pretty hot and Foxy's had enough of her adventure. And I do need to take Jed out and work some others. But anyway, I just thought, you know, I can change the plan because who cares? We've not got an event next weekend. We've not got an event in two 
two months. So change your plans and have fun. Missed it. He was nibbling on her mane and oh, sounding a little bit raunchy. There's Snora. Hi, Snora. So I'm hoping to bring Snora back into work once some ponies have been rehomed. This is one of the ponies I'd like to be rehomed. Hey, Woody. Woody, look excited. You've got to show yourself. I am Woody, and I'd like a lovely owner to ride me. Do you want to be an adventure, Woody? Get that pony. Oh, he liked that. He whinnied at that one. <laughs> so I'm going to take Jet up the lane as well because we jumped two days ago. He didn't get ridden yesterday in his new saddle. So what I tend to do, say we were in like normal work, if we had a big show jump or like a show, <laughs> like a show jump lesson or we went cross country or we did fitness, then I tend to walk them out. Our routine's got a little bit tits up at the moment, but he did jump on, I don't even know what day it was, but two days ago. I don't even know what day it is. It's Monday. So two days, Saturday, we jumped in the new saddle. And because he hadn't jumped for a lot, while, he's probably a little bit tight up his booty and down his hamstrings. So we just walk him up the lane. Plus, I'm trying to get my hours in the saddle to let the wool settle, etc before it gets rejigged to, you know, fit Mr. Tricky over here. He's not happy about it. He's, I don't know, he's screaming because he's just come away from his girlfriends. Theo, who's just been put next to Jet, is also upset that I've taken Jet. They're also needy. Goodness gracious. Nice clean rug. Yes, Jet, you're really well looked after here. Mm, miserable. All right, we better get on with it. I promise you I'm into guys, not that there's, you know, anything wrong with being into girls, but I just feel like I look like perhaps I am right now, but, you know, nothing wrong with that. Get packed, we nearly skidded and fell over on the road because he spooked at a sign that was on its side, which I'd walked past with Foxy, and it crossed my mind, just, I better watch it, she might spook. Of course, Foxy is as chilled as an ox. I don't think that's the saying, but we'll go with it. Here's Foxy's ass. And I was on jet. I think I was getting distracted by like the view and it looked really beautiful and I was taking photos, etc. etc. There's Storm Woody. Uh, we're just having a little meeting at the gate. And next minute jet shot out sideways. I nearly went out the backside door and his feet slipped on the road. Oh my God, it was actually pretty terrifying. There were skid marks on the road. <laughs> they were the only kind of skid marks, I promise you. Anyway, so that was entertaining. And today's just disappearing. It's definitely autumn. The days are just disappearing so fast. But like, look how beautiful. You probably can't tell, but it is such a lovely sort of afternoon, evening. It's at actually five o'clock. 
I'm going to lunge Theo really quickly. My Theo, that is. Theo numero uno. And then feed because I've got to head back out to Jono's. And oh, it just makes the day so long going backwards and forwards. It's like the day is split in half. I just have way less time to get anything done. Look at him storming. He still does his baby mouth. He's like, he's a year old. He thinks he's like, I don't know, a bug. Jet just wants to go out. Come on, lady. Oh, Foxy, Jet's girlfriends, come say hi. The flies are really bad today. Like, we were walking up the lane being annihilated. These two are really cute. Oh, this stuff. Okay, every time I change, oh, they were kissing. Then they were, like, nibbling each other. And then I turned around and then these two stopped nibbling. I love all my babies. It looks like there's so many horses here, but it's just because I'm at a junction of gates and fences. And there's Charlie. Charlie. Oh, there's Charlie. And this is Charlie. Foxy Fox. Oh, the bubbers. Oh, see. Those two are hating the flies at the moment. Oh, Jet's trying to kill me against them. Ah, Jet. My goodness. Ow, 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 ow. All right. We've got to get this guy out. He's got moisturizer all over his face. It's probably, I don't know, can you see that? No, it's, it's gone in. He has rubbed his face so much, so he's got, uh, what's it called, Alpha Kerry oil, all over, Alpha Kerry moisturiser all over his face. And he does not like it. You'd think it would be nice, but mind out, Foxy. Foxy never moved. Oh, come on. Foxy had a nice bath. I think you saw that. Um, so we'll try and liaise. Oh, my goodness. Jet, hang on. Okay, this is not wise. Trying to video... Walk horses through gates. Jet throttled me with the lead rope. And then Woody's going to sniff Jet's butt. Oh, it's just a palaver, basically. Anyway, nearly done, nearly done. 